Nathan Latka dropped out of college at the age of 19 to found a software company with $119 in his bank account. Does this sound familiar to you? Kind of thinking, what can I do to make money? Well, that's what he was thinking. So now at the age of 29, he is a self-made millionaire. He hosts a podcast. He's got a show on Facebook. Uh, and he is now a first-time author. And there's just so much to unpack here because there's a, a lot that he offers. Now, the book is called How to Be a Capitalist Without Any Capital, The Four Rules you must break to get rich. Hey, Nathan. Corey, thanks for having me. How are we you this morning? We love this title. Good. Absolutely. Thanks for being in. We're excited. Uh, tell us how to get rich. Well, look, <laughs> the, 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 part, the reason I did the book is because over the past 10 years, starting from architecture at Virginia Tech, basically, go Hokies. I hear they just placed very well in the basketball tournament. They so that's did. They did. Uh, but uh, dropped out of school there, launched a company, pre-sold 70 grand worth of the product, and then oh, wow. ended up dropping out, hiring professors, building a 40-person team, and scaling that up and selling it ultimately uh, in uh, 2015. So the book is basically how I did this starting with no capital. And, okay. And I mean, it's a bit controversial. I mean, we put things in here like tax returns. I mean, my lawyers were not happy about it, but oh, you guys God. can see. I mean, it's all oh, right there. Oh, you've got the real documents. The, I mean, it's the actual tax return. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. So, so how does that help people to see these things? Well, here's the thing. Have you read, do you read business books a lot? or? I've you know, read a couple, yeah. There's a lot of theory. It's not something I do on a day to day, but it's definitely something I do when I want to know what, they, yeah. what the experts do. Well, though. you guys know this. You read business books. There's a lot of theory in business books. Yeah. And I didn't want to write a theory based business book. I wanted like real ah. screenshots, real data. And so the whole book is full of like email scripts I used to make money, how I did that's my first incredible. real estate deals, the whole, the whole gamut. That's what we need. We need the specific. Exactly. Okay, the four rules, you got to break them? Yes. Yeah, so, okay. so what happened here is, first off, there are four rules that kind of the average person thinks they have to live by to build wealth. And that's because mm -hmm. people that got wealthy and have power kind of sold us on these rules because they don't want us to oh. challenge them. So, oh, I see. So they think because they want to hold their wealth and power. Absolutely. Right? So one of them is, right, they say, don't copy your competitors. Like, that's unethical. Be original. It's not, be original. Yes. We've totally been told that. wrong. And the reason is, really? I mean, look at Facebook. They uh -huh. rip off every Snapchat feature and in Instagram. Yes, they do. Steve Jobs got a lot of his great ideas from the the Xerox Research Park. So ah. wealthy people and great companies copy fast, they copy aggressively, and then, Corey, they're at, they add their own spin to make it unique. So that's what I tell everyone to do in the book. Copy your competitors okay. ruthlessly and then add your own spin. That way it's legal and you've got something unique. Totally. It's completely legal. And if you're launching a unique new idea, there's probably, there's a reason it hasn't been done before. There might not be a market for mm -hmm. it, right? So okay. you, you don't want to start something brand new. Okay. Second rule? Second rule. So a lot of people focus on goals. And what I say is, no, you want to focus on systems. And what I mean by that is you and I might say we want a picket fence with the house and we want a Rolex watch yeah, and the dress. You'd want the dress, by the way. I'd take the suit, but you'd oh, want yes, the dress, right? Of course. And what happens though is we get in this cycle of goals, 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 and ultimately what we actually want to do is invest in the golden goose. We want to keep that goose healthy so that it pumps out the golden eggs and these, uh, these uh, goals over and over again. And so oh. you want to build systems, not focus on goals. That's rule number two. And you go into specifics about how people can do that. We do. Okay, number three. So number three, again, we jump in and there's th things in here like sell pick access to gold miners. So a lot of people like right now go after a hot opportunity. Maybe it's I don't know, cannabis is really hot right, right. now, right? You would think invest you'd think, in cannabis. You'd think invest mm -hmm. or, or Bitcoin, you know, a year ago, right? right? But what you actually guys, what you want to do is invest in the underlying thing and sell into the hot topic. The hot topic's too risky and it's very competitive. There's no margin for us to make money there. Uh, so you want to sell like accounting software to cannabis companies, right? Oh, Does that make sense? Yes, because you, I, I saw an interview where you used the Levi jeans comparison. Which you is, got it. That was fascinating. Yeah, Mr. Levi, 1800s, went to be go, a gold miner. Everyone wanted to be a gold miner, but he's like sweating in the trenches and bleeding, oh. and he hates it. But he sees everyone's wearing jeans and says, I'm going to launch a jean brand. Now today, multi-billion dollar brand. So sell, Incredible. pick access to gold miners. Don't follow the hot topic. Okay, and number four. So number four, this is one of those ones where people always say, focus on one skill. Do one thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you're a jack of all trades, you're a master of none. But Corey, masters today can be replaced really, really easily. And uh -huh. that's the liability with that strategy. Good That's point. liability. So what I articulate in the book is it's much better to know a little bit about a lot of topics okay. so you can motivate the experts in those categories and get them to work for your goal, right? Get them all on the same team. Great advice. Yeah, so you don't want to focus on one thing. You want to be doing multiple things at once. Okay, a lot to unpack here. Um, real quick, I know the anchors want to know, self-made millionaire, do you <laughs> think the Kylie Jenners of the world are self-made millionaires? Listen, Chris, what we should be looking at is Chris Jenner. She's a genius. So you guys would yes, probably agree. Chris Jenner, is. Chris Jenner is a genius. And so what I love about what Chris Jenner does is she dreams up the title that she wants for her children or her brand and then figures out how to make it true. Right, ah. so she wants the headline. Kylie Jenner, youngest self-made billionaire. She dreamed this up two years ago and then said, 
How can I position this to make it true? So it doesn't matter if she's actually self-made or not. The headline is now true. And that's right? the narrative. And it's being exactly. So she got what she wanted, which is we're really wealthy, we're doing really well, invest in our brand, sponsor us, wow. right? So it works no matter what. Free publicity. Free publicity. Free, we, it's, it's a lot about headlines today. How so. much does projection go into your success? Oh, uh, one of my favorite quotes is most people become what they imagine. The problem is most people have no imagination. Right, wow. so you become what you imagine, and people have to think big. And I'm thinking a lot right now. Actually, you look at Northern Northern Virginia. I don't know if you guys are following it, but the District 13 Senate seat is very interesting. Mm -hmm. That it's tied 2020 right now, and there's a lot of people saying, Nathan, come back home. I grew up in Loudoun County. Oh. Take a look at this seat. But we'll have to see what yeah. happens. Deadline's June, so so stay, stay he tuned. Says his candidacy here he on Tuesday. He almost Yeah. No, I, there was no did. Floridian slip. I would lo I would have to give up so much doing that. But I love Loudoun County. I love Loudoun County. Let me ask you one more question about it because when you when you visualize, like Maureen said, if you're visualizing that big picture and the amount of success that you want, how much margin do you build in for setbacks along the way? Uh. You don't you don't really think about that. So for example, I'm saying here on air, I might think about doing something political and. Northern Virginia, and there's people watching right now that are going to reach out, and they're going to make that actually happen. They're going to go, I was part of a race. You should do it or not, right? And so mm -hmm. what happens when you put these bold, audacious things out there, actually the world has a unique way of making some of them I, come I true. I hardly okay. believe that. Huh? Yeah. Um, Powerball lottery, I'm yeah. projecting. Speaking I'm going to hit that number. <laughs> I'm going to do I it. I'm the news anchor. I'm not talking to you. I'm yeah, going to do And this. businessman right here on the couch. <laughs> so, yeah. Nathan, thank you. Nice okay, we got to go to break. We got to go to break. Kind of we project right, we the commercial. Yeah, we, we project, project that commercial. Yeah, well, there you go.